And this morning we're learning about some invasive species. Emily Deem is live at Fort Howard Park in Green Bay with more. Good morning, Em. Get him out of here, Em. Morning, right. Rachel Seeds. I know, right? I wish I could. I really do. But did you know there are tens of thousands of ash trees in the Green Bay area? And there is a little invasive species in there that's being a little pest. And I wish I could go in each tree and get rid of them, but I can't. That's why we have Brian Pilot here with me this morning, the assistant forester with the city of Green Bay. Look at the mess that they create in those trees. It's unbelievable. They're in the Green Bay area. We have some tips for people on how to actually try to treat their ash trees. Right, Brian? Yep. Yeah, there's a homeowner product that you can use um, as a homeowner to treat your tree. You treat it once for the year, and it's good. And uh, it's just a basic product that you can pick up at any uh, landscaping store or wherever, lawn and garden. And uh, you measure your tree. If you can basically, as a rule of thumb, if you can get your arms around the tree as a homeowner, you can treat that tree. I got my arms around this one. We're good to go. So all you have to do is you just follow the directions on the package. You measure your tree. You mix it up in a certain amount of water. And you just want to rake back any mulch. Or if you have grass around the base of your tree, you want to have bare soil to pour the product on. So once you do that, you just mix it up and you pour it right around the base of the tree. Just like that. And that's all you have to do for a year. A year. Yep. Wow. Um, you, though, do something different. So you actually go beneath the soil, right? Yeah, we use the same product, the same active ingredient as what the homeowner can buy. But it, as a certified applicator, we can inject it into the ground. So it's the same product. We go around with a backpack sprayer and the probe. And you just push it into the ground. You get underneath that mulch or the grass so we don't have to remove it. And you just inject it. The roots take it up. It's a systemic insecticide. And then once it's in the tree, as those little uh, larvae are feeding on the, on the bark, they, uh, they ingest the chemical and it kills them. Um, and you were also telling me, even if you don't see signs, just treat your tree. Even if you have an ash tree yep. in your yard, just treat it if you don't see anything. Yeah, preventive treatment is really the best way to go. It can be 95, 99% uh, effective in protecting your ash tree. You've had to mm -hmm. replant a lot of trees in the Green Bay we area. Have. There's some back there along the road here because they're in our area where we're, where we're talking right now, right? Yeah, 20% yep. of the street trees in Green Bay are ash. So we're trying to reduce the numbers of those trees that, that aren't healthy right now. They're not necessarily infested, but just not healthy trees. So we're cutting the, those ash trees down and replanting, getting more diversity on our streets. And uh, we've got a grant uh, for the next two years that we can use for treating trees and planting new trees. All right, start right away. Yes, right on. All right, thanks so much, Brian. You can go to our website to learn more. Rachel, Pete, we'll send it back to you. Okay, All right. thanks, thanks Adam. Em.